What am I doing? Time to do it all today. Welcome back to the channel. I'm about to leave vlogs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is gonna be all about what's inside this bowl right here. It's gonna be another cooking video inside this bowl. Inside this magical red bowl, we have clam chowder, and I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes, step by step, how Chef Dr. E is what we call him, or Chef Elliot, how we call him. Other people call him. Other people call him. A lot of names. A lot of names. Move back step by step. We're gonna head back to the kitchen. I'm gonna show you guys how he does his clam chowder for me. We're here with Elliot. He's gonna show us clam chowder special. That's on the menu, right, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Elliot or Dr. E, wherever you guys prefer to call him. I always call him Dr. E. But so we're gonna make clam chowder, and I've been a big fan of clam chowder. I love seafood, and I told him that his competition is San Francisco's clam chowder. And he said, not a big problem because I'm from Maine. So I'm trying some Maine. Clam chowder, grandma style. Is this grandma's recipe? It's, it's, it's a good recipe. It's a good recipe. It's a little not, bit of A, a little bit of B. A little bit, who, who's A and B? A little bit of, little bit of grandma, a little bit of me, a little bit of everybody. Everybody. Everybody put their hand in the pot of love and yep. they're gonna make some clam chowder right there. I take recipes and I make them better. So right here we got so far chopped potatoes. Chopped onions. And chopped onions. White wine. Some, some wine. Bacon. Bacon. And it's an instant pot. Instant pot. Hashtag instant pot. Hashtag instant pot. A little salt, a little pepper. Salt, pepper. We'll cook. So you cook the bacon until it's nice, not super crispy, but you want it. You want it sweated out. Then you're gonna add some onions. Then you're gonna add a little bit of white wine in that. Then we're gonna let it cook. I'm gonna throw some clams in. We're gonna throw some clam juice in, we're gonna throw some heavy cream, some butter, some flour, thicken it up, some potatoes, Idaho russets. You could also use Yukon Golds if that's what you want. However, the Idaho russet stays together when you pressurize it when you cook it so it doesn't just disintegrate into potato starch. So it's gonna be good. It'll be ready in about 15, 20 minutes maybe. We've got a good, if you, if you all could smell it. It's all about the smells. I cook by smell. It smells real good. Hell yeah. Trader Joe's has the best deal on spices. The red chili peppers are awesome. Throw a little bit on the bacon. Gotta have a little bit of something. This is probably the best white wine I've ever found for, you know, clam chowdering. You don't have to put wine in it, but you also don't need a cork to make good soup. Twist off. Easy, quick, like it's good. You don't need expensive clams, there are some. Chicken of the sea, works just fine. You wanna get them in water, you're gonna use this as the clam juice so you don't have to buy more clam juice to put in it. It's gonna come out killer. Now if you're, you know, closer to the sea than we are here, of course you would get real clam, but I'm a long way away from an ocean. We live in the desert. We so live in the desert. Far away from the ocean. So this, will, this may not be as good as San Francisco, just because they're close to an ocean, but it's gonna be pretty damn close. Oh, um, he's a little bit doubting himself. No. Doubting himself right there. My father, Larry Bear, aka Larry the Principal, he has never had homemade clam charter. We had it three times when he was last year. So it's the best clam charter he's ever had in his life. So that's why Louis vlogs, he's gonna get birthday clam chowder. Birthday was yesterday. As soon as it cooks a little bit longer, we're gonna throw the onions in, then we're gonna throw some white wine after. But you don't want too much, you want more potato and a little bit of wine. I mean, seriously though, Smithfield bacon. Um, love Smithfield pork, love their bacon, love their ribs. I use them when I smoke ribs, so. Huge fan of Smithfield, so hashtag Smithfield. Hashtag Smithfield. Huge fan of Natural Light, hashtag Natty Lives Matter, hashtag Natural Light Beer. That's Dr. E's favorite beer. Yep. He loves Natty Light. Makes cooking go a whole lot easier. That's a secret. That's what he says is a secret. He's drinking Natty Light. You'll see a lot of that in the summer when we do cooking vlogs. Right now it's time to add some onion. Onions are in, let them sweat. You can add salt and pepper at this time. I'm probably gonna put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, not a lot though. 
because you really don't need much. So a little bit, a couple of shakes, a couple of shakes. There you go. Onions have softened. Bacon's cooking. We're gonna do half cup white wine. We're gonna scrape the bottom of the pot just because it gets all the good stuff out. We already add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. When we add more stuff, we're gonna obviously put in some red pepper flake because a little bit of heat isn't gonna hurt you. Trader Joe's has really, really good red fresh flakes. Or if you're a millennial and you're poor, like myself, you save this bottle and when you go to Little Caesars or Pizza Hut, you just pour that shit back in there with a funnel. Money saving tip. Life hack. So we're just gonna let this cook for a minute. We'll go back on when we're ready for the next step. Most of your wine is cooked out. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in one big russet potato. Just throw it on in. And then we've got two cups of clam juice as well. So if you buy canned clams because you don't live near something, four cans of clams gives you two cups of clam juice. So you add that up in there too. Put a little bay leaf, just a couple. So you throw two or three little bay leaves in. Bay leaf, you can't eat it, but it cooks well. You can throw a little cayenne pepper. If you don't want cayenne pepper, I just use flakes. A few more little flakes. And give it a stir. Now what we're doing, everything's added. We're going to switch it off a of saute. We're going to pressure cook everything for about five minutes. And we'll see you in about five minutes. All right, we're making some roux. So what we have is two tablespoons of butter. We're gonna do it really, really low. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of flour. And then that's gonna thicken up the soup. If you gotta know what roux is, for my... It's just a, it's a soup thickener, that's all it is. Soup thickener, yeah. We like things that are thick. Yeah. Some flour, a bit butter. Flour and butter. And then you have to cook it over low heat and just don't burn it. You'll know if you burn it because it'll smell. You gotta constantly stir it. Like so. Unsalted butter, butter works really well because you can always add salt and pepper to soup. So it needs to be like a light brown color and it will be here in just about two seconds. Five minutes cooked. Put in your clams. And then here, I have one cup milk, one cup heavy cream. Put this on for like five minutes. Add our roux, which will thicken our soup. And all you have to do from here is just stir it until it's the thickness you want it, and then it's done. Approximately how does that take? Five minutes. And that's it. That's clam chowder. Once he's done, I'll taste the final product and tell you guys if it's worth it, if it's good. And he did a good job. Dr. E. And he has to be brutally honest because if it sucks, he ain't gonna swallow it. True. So just give you guys a couple of minutes for it to cook and then I'll get back to you guys. Finally finished. So Dr. E is bringing me a plate. Oh, and here he comes. Let me show you guys, nothing has been changed, correct? Nothing has been changed. So see, we have the bacon, clam chowder, and potatoes. the potatoes. And onions. And onions. Thank you, Dr. E. This is it. The clam chowder baked. See, it comes out really good. I love seafood, like I said. I love clam chowder. Best one that I have from San Francisco. We're gonna try this one. Just blow it somewhere so I can cool down a bit. The top. Here we go. Mmm, real good, Dr. E. Appreciate it, it's real good. I just have flashbacks of the memories that I have from, you know when you try some food and you have flashbacks of memories that you try something else in a different location? I just had a flashback with that mouthful. Well, it's real good, it was real good. This is Dr. E, he's gonna show up more on vlogs in summertime for cooking and grilling because he is a master, he is a genius, that's why we call him doctor. He takes food and takes it to the next level. Thank you Dr. D for this food, appreciate it. Thank you Daddy Light for having me. 
that they like for having them. And this is real good. I approve. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog. So peace out.